Pacific Mountainside, live in Whistler, B.C. Day one of Crankworks is underway, and we're sitting down here with specialized athlete Curtis Keen. Curtis, thanks for joining us in studio today. Thank you uh, for having me. Yeah, just got done with a little ride, and uh, stoked to be here. Thank you. So, Crankworks, another year. It's 10th anniversary. You've probably been here for almost every one over the years, correct? Yeah, I've been here since 2004, I think. Yeah, so that was my first year, and I haven't missed a beat since. So day one of the World Enduro practice as well, the uh, SRAM Canadian Open Enduro, uh, presented by Specialized Bikes. Um, you went out. I just talked to you. You went and rode stages one through four. What's your take so far? Um, take so far, this is, uh, is going to be an amazing event. This is, um, in my opinion, uh, what the Enduro format should look a bit like. Um, it's going to be really physical. We have some climbing. Um, the stages are really burly. Um, the last one we have here is the fifth stage. is uh, It's going to be about 25 minutes. But overall, we'll have 50 to an hour of racing time, and all the stages are fun. Uh, they, uh, they did an absolute amazing job um, picking the courses, the variety, the loop, just uh, the whole thing. So, man, I can't wait till Sunday. It's going to be great. So, yeah, you are talking about quite a few different stages that we've seen, and it's kind of a different format, too, uh, as you've raced all the other ones. I mean, we're already at stop five of the World Enduro Series here. Yeah. Uh, what's the biggest difference uh, that you've already seen here, just in terms of format and, and everything else? Um, you know, some of the French ones are, the French ones are lift-assisted, pretty much all lift-assisted. So, And then the Italian way is you basically pedal up all the climbs, and then uh, Winter Park was mostly lift assisted. So uh, Crankworks has got a good balance here. We have we use, we utilize the lift twice, and then we transfer over and we do a couple pretty brutal climbs. Actually, man, like the the climbs here in BC are not nice. So I actually stepped down to a 32 front chain ring because they're pretty steep. And one of the uh, transfers you uh, you're allotted an hour and a half. And today kind of cruising. Going pretty good. It took us took us like an hour, hour and five minutes. So um, it's going to be tough, but it's got a good balance of everything, uh, stages, the, the you know the utilizing the lifts and climbing. So um, I think they nailed it. I I think it's going to be the best of the year. So I mean, like I said, I can't wait, and I think uh, a lot of a lot of people are happy so far. Well, and you're, you're talking about it's going to be the best of the year. You're a California kid, but you've probably had some of your, your best success, and this is almost your home court advantage, as we were talking about earlier before we went on air here. Yeah. You've, you always seem to rise to the occasion, and, and this year's no different. You bit of a slow start this season with Punta Ala and, and uh, a few of the other rounds and just mechanicals and this and that, but yeah. we've seen the last little bit, especially in Winter Park. You're coming on, and same with the last Oregon Enduro Series. Um, what is it about Crankworks that's so special for you? Well, actually, I lived in Vancouver um, for a couple couple seasons, a couple years. Uh, my girlfriend's uh, she's Canadian, so she's from Vancouver. So during the summers, I'd come up here, and this would be home base for the most part. So I have spent a lot of time here, as everyone knows. Whistler's amazing. So it is. Um, it's not home court advantage, but kind of is. Like I've had enough time here to where I'm very comfortable. Um, I've ridden here a lot. I know all the trails, so I'm at ease. It, it's it's definitely a it's definitely it is a some bit of a home court advantage, and I love it here. The energy, everyone's uh, having a great time. All your buddies coming to town. It's beautiful weather. The trails are amazing. It's just kind of you feed off that, and yeah, I tend to uh, uh, do pretty well. So I'm hoping to continue that on uh, Sunday. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've seen you on the podium many times, and, and you know, I think we're all rooting for you. We've, we've uh, we want to see that happen. So we've got this uh, neon beauty behind us here. Maybe you can take us through. This is the uh, specialized 2014 enduro, correct? 29er. This is a 2014 uh, specialized enduro 29 S Works. This is a um, it's a one-off one. Specialized was kind enough to surprise me a few weeks ago with um, this custom painted frame and matching wheels. And, um, yeah, it's my uh, weapon of choice here for uh, this weekend. And I'll probably race it at uh, the last two rounds of the uh, EWS. So um, it's a 160 mil uh, Rock Shocks pike up front, 155 mil Rock Shocks Monarch Plus in the rear, you know, big burly tires for this place because we're basically riding downhill tracks. And uh, just a good solid setup, XX1. Um, you know, re reverb stealth, dropper, big wide bars, and um, 
big, uh, beefy tires, so um, she likes to go fast. Yeah, very, very fast, very, very fast. Any special mods for yourself or something you're really particular with a bike setup? I know each guy's different, and uh, especially at this high level of enduro racing, you're getting more and more finicky with setup. Is there one thing that has to be perfect on your bike or your mechanic has to make sure is right to make you happy? Yeah, I'm kind of weird. Um, I run my brake levers uh, really far out. Anyone who, like, gets on my bike knows that that's the first thing they say is, like, oh, man, how do you grab these brakes, man? These things are way out there. Um, so I have run them really far from the bar. I don't know why. I just it's just a it's just a habit. You can't can't uh, can't teach an old dog new tricks. So I like that's uh, one thing I'm super picky about. And then um, my suspension. I don't like it bottoming out. So other than that, it's always working uh, really solid and pretty easy for the most part. Air, I'm an air pressure guy on tires. I, I I do it by feel. You know, squeeze it and never use a gauge. I've been doing that for like 10 years. So. Yeah, I just go uh, with how I feel. If it works, keep on with it, right? So, yeah, right. I mean, she's definitely in beauty. Um, and I guess, too, we were talking about uh, how long this enduro is here. They were taught when Chris was presenting it the other day. It's 51 kilometers from start to finish. Is the 2.9 uh, S-Works going to be an advantage just in terms of keeping uh, keeping fresh on the liaisons, or is it just... Man, like the whole wheel size debate. Um, is it an advantage? Maybe in some sections, but... Ultimately, like what it comes down to, I believe, is what you're most comfortable on. I, for myself, am really comfortable on this, and I feel like it's an advantage for me. Through the rough stuff, it kind of carries speed. You don't fall into holes, so it's a, it's a bit of a monster truck. So, yeah, like to me, it, it is an advantage for myself, I feel like, for sure, especially on stage five. I'm just hopefully going to be able to just lean back and hang on and try to have a clean stage, and... Um, it's going to feel like a mini downhill bike. So it's, like I said, it's loving it out there. It's a, it's a bit of a weapon. Yeah, she's a beauty. So day one's already in the books. Day two, what is your plan for tomorrow? I mean, we're seeing some pretty pretty extreme heat here in terms of everything you guys have dealt with this year. I mean, they've been warm rounds, but it's 30-plus degrees, 51K of pedaling if you want to do all the stages. Like you said, a lot of the uh, European ones are, are lift-based where you can do multiple laps. Um, what's your plan for tomorrow with day two? Mm, tomorrow, Saturday, let's see, maybe sleep in, uh, get a massage, uh, hang out at the pool. That's pretty much on my agenda. So um, I'm going to rest. Yep. I've uh, I've pre-ridden everything enough. I have GoPro footage. So I yeah, try to utilize that and, um, you know, watch it maybe each each stage two or three times a night. So it's, you know, a bit of homework, but... I feel like it helps you learn the course and save a lot of energy because, like you said, it's going to be hot, really physical. Um, so that's kind of my plan. Just uh, hang out and just get ready for Sunday. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're seeing lots of guys. Oh, oh there. She's getting yeah. restless behind yeah. us. Um, we're seeing lots of guys use that GoPro, especially with the, the length of the course and everything. Um, I mean, it's cool to see, like you said, you've done one day. You've probably ridden all these tracks within the last few years just yeah. randomly. I know a lot, of, uh, a lot of people, you know, I live here ride on a regular basis. So like, you knew what was coming up. And I was like, no, I'm just riding the home tracks and I haven't ridden at all in the last two days. Yep. And, you know, it's like, that's cool to see you're already feeling comfortable. You don't need that second day. You don't need to go on any with uh, any more of that. Um, I guess we have to ask expectations, you know, is there, is there, is there, obviously you're going for the W, oh, but, oh, yeah. um, you know, this is, this is kind of, like you said, you, you're out of Europe now. The European guys, they're on unfamiliar territory yeah. where you're right at home. Yeah. Um, Getting the dub would be amazing. It's just, like I said, it's one of the biggest events of the year. Um, but I just want to have a clean weekend. I've, uh, I've I've struggled or just made dumb mistakes at the EWSs, you know, just making silly crashes, and I just want to get through clean. If I get through clean, it's going to be a good weekend. So I'm just going to plan on doing that and see what pans out. Well, ten grand thrown in by Specialized here, that's not going to hurt whatsoever. I mean, yeah. that would make for a pretty fun Sunday. Yeah, that would be, uh, that'd be great, yeah. Cool, man. Well, right on, right on, right on. Well, this is the uh, Google Hangout on air live for Crankworks. My name is Tristan Merrick. Make sure you guys stay up to date with everything. Hashtag us CWX at Enduro, or CWX Enduro. And uh, for all the racers and everything out there, same. Take pictures, show us what's up. I mean, they are a little more relaxed liaison. Uh, the top guys, I would assume you're not carrying a cell phone. You're in full race mode where every gram counts. No, no, no uh, cell phone. Actually, that might be a request from the uh, from the lady. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll give her a call on one of the uh, stages and I'll do a little check-in. 
So. It's so beautiful up here, babe. <laughs> I'm racing. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> uh, I can't talk right now. I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, everybody for uh, Crankworks here, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check in tomorrow. We'll be uh, doing the speed and style, and uh, we'll be uh, joined by my co-host tomorrow. So from everybody here at Crankworks, I'm Tristan Curtis Keen. Thanks for joining us. Thank and uh, make sure you tune in tomorrow or uh, Sunday for the SRAM special or Canadian Open Enduro presented by Specialized.